Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing this brown look because that's what you've voted for on Snapchat and here it is. So starting off with my Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturiser, I'm just going to moisturise my face because it sets a base and makes everything go on smoother, especially when you have texture on your face. I've been using this um, moisturiser now for a few weeks and I really really love it, it's going to be in my June favourites. Now I'm taking the Bare Minerals Prime Time in Colour Light and I'm just going to prime my face. I decided to leave the aftershave balm out for a while because I've seen things that it's not too good for your face but I'm trying to try different primers. My throat is a bit sore today as well by the way guys. Do my little happy dance. <laughs> so moving on I'm taking some double sided sticky tape and I'm going to stick that just underneath my kind of bottom lashes just so I have the base for my eyeshadows then taking the 17 um, concealer as an eye primer I'm just applying that to my eyes and brushing it in for a base and then I'm gonna take a Morphe brush and apply any loose powder on top of that at all just to set the concealer so we don't have any creases on our eyelids I will put everything in the description box down below then I'm taking the Morphe palette the Jaclyn Hill edition and I'm taking this light brown a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to fluff this into my crease just as my transition colour. I really love this brush, it's the Morphe brush but again I will look everything down in the bottom bar. Then I changed my brush to a more precise dome brush and I'm going to mix these two Morphe colours together as well. And I'm going to mix this into my crease and I'm doing this so I can get a kind of definition. So it goes from a light colour to a dark colour to a darker colour and it kind of gives it that gradient look. And then I just took my fluffy brush and went back in again and I'm just blending the colours up again and again just till I got it to that right colour that I wanted it to be at because I really really do love my brown eyeshadow colours as they're so neutral and they can go with everything. Then taking this kind of champagne brown glittery colour, I'm just taking this on a flat iron brush and I'm just going to apply this to my lid. I'm not bringing it out all the way, I'm just bringing it to the middle. And then I'm taking this nice purple champagne -y plum colour and I'm applying this onto the outer crease just to make that a little bit more darker. And again, going back in with your fluffy brush just to blend everything out so there's no harsh lines. Then moving on to my NYX liquid black liner. This is my best liner in the whole world and I'm just lining my lids. Now I find doing eyeliner very very hard and that's why the tape is there because it makes my wings even. And there you see I did make a mistake but because the tape is there it doesn't make a difference. I really really don't know what's up with my throat. It's so sore. Okay so I'm just joining the line back now just to make the wing. And then I'm just going to pull it off and there is my two even wings. And I'm going to do a little happy dance again because Louise really really loves when she gets her wings even. So then taking my NYC um, mascara. This mascara is brilliant. I think it's a dupe for, well personally I do, I think it's a dupe for the Benefit, oh what is it called? Oh, the Benefit mascara. I can't think of the name right now, but I will put it in the description there. <laughs> Do my little show off. Now, moving on to the face. I'm taking my Bare Minerals Bare Skin and my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. And I'm gonna match, I'm gonna match it. <laughs> I'm gonna mix these two foundations together on my face because I am wearing tan right now and they don't match, so I'm just gonna mix them together. With the bare minerals, I'm just going to take two to three drops on my fluffy brush. And then I'm just going to buff that into my skin like we normally would. I have kind of fast forwarded this bit a little bit because you guys have seen me put on foundation so many times. And I don't want you to get sick of it, so we kind of fast forward it. But I'm literally just buffing it around my skin and not forgetting to bring it down the neck as well. Is my voice really annoying? Oh, okay. So now moving on to concealer. I'm taking the exact same concealer. I'm taking the 17 concealer and I'm applying it underneath my eyes. It did go out of focus there, but don't worry, it will be back in. And I'm applying it to my forehead as well as my top lip and my cheek. My cheek, my chin. And again, I'm just buffing that in with the Real Techniques brush because I don't want too much of a highlight. This um, concealer is amazing. I think it's dupe for 
the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. Oh, it's absolutely amazing, and I think it was only like five euros. Now, this Gimme Brow Benefit is absolutely amazing. I'm not going to go into too much detail because, again, this will be in my favourites for July. But literally, all I do is like brush it through your brows, and it's amazing. I use this every single day, and this was just a tester in the magazine as well. But like I said, I'm not going to go into too much detail about it because I will be talking about it in my next video. But as you can see, I'm really happy. Then I'm taking the Inglot powder, which is 403, and I'm just using that to set my under eyes and everywhere that I put concealer. I choose this one because this one has a little bit of glitter in it. Well, not that it has glitter, but it kind of gives it that shine effect. Then I'm taking any other powder that I have, and I'm just setting my face with that powder. The powder that I used today was one from Deals and then I'm taking my contour and this is the 507 from Ingla and I just took a really big fluffy brush I'm not really trying to contour I'm just trying to bronze and I just put that in the normal places so my cheeks under my chin and my forehead as well and then I'm having a little bit of a sing song <laughs> okay Louise come on okay now I'm taking this Estee Lauder um, blush palette I'm taking this nice blush here I don't know the color but I will leave it in the description bar and I'm just applying that with a brush as well. And then, of course, going in with highlighter, I use Laura Gala Ballerina. And it is amazing. And I actually stop here and show you. So, oh, it dropped out. Okay, so you can see here, in the highlighted one, it makes your face look a bit lifted. Whereas on the other one, it doesn't. But moving on to the lipstick, I picked Casimir by Lime, the Lime Crime. And I'm just applying this onto my lips. And I'm having a little happy dance again. I was listening to music by the way, so if you think I was talking, I was actually singing. And that's why my shoulders were moving most of the time. But now I'm just applying this to my lips and I love it. So this is the finished look guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. As always, I'm having another sing song. <laughs> but as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and leave anything that you want down in the comments. It can be video suggestions for my next video or little tips that I could improve my videos. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a brilliant day. Don't forget to like and share. And I love you guys.